I'm raining and learning because it's super good to do. So. And now it's Sarah Ads. Seriously. And so is Sarah Ads. I woke up in bed. How do I spell bed? B E D. I have to pee. How do I spell pee? P E E. I have to use the toilet. How do I spell toilet? T O I L E T. Time to wake up mommy. Yeah, I should knock on her door. How do I spell door? D O O R, door. Mommy makes me oatmeal. How do I spell oatmeal? O A T E space M E A L. M E O L. Before I eat, I need to get my bowl. How do I spell bowl? B O W L. Bowl. B is for bowl. B is How can for I bowl. Eat? Eat. Now, oh, I can eat. But I have, but what has to sit at the table? <laughs> Now I can eat, but I have to sit at the table. How do I spell table? T-A-V-L-E. All done and ready for the day. I asked mommy, now what? But how do I spell what? W-H-A-T. <coughs> mommy asked me hey, what I want to do, play or learn. How do I spell play? P L A Y. P L A Y. I grab my toy is to play. I love my dinosaurs because I am a paleontologist. I'm a scientist that studies dinosaurs. How do I spell toys? T O Y S. I have, I have 10 dinosaurs. I need to count them all. How do I spell 10? T E N. All this fun makes me hungry. I tell mommy I need food. How do I spell food? F O O D. Food. I am thirsty. Also, I need a cup of water. How do I spell cup? C U P. Cup. U P. I think you I will relax and watch my show and not stare at ads. Where is my tablet? T A A B L E T tablet. I like how the door open. My tablet. The I door think. opens. It's a great surprise. Dad's home. How do I spell dad? D A D. Dad. D A D. That was just one day. What do I do? Well, the next day, and uh, what is it? and the next, it's how do I spell day? D A Y V M. So, what do you think? It's good, but I'll probably be able to read it better than like the text. Yeah, it's because of my handwriting. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't understand your handwriting. It's okay. Yeah, Aggie's right. Oh, did you like the book, Ollie? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, Aggie's right. Yay! Mommy wrote a new book. Yay! Daddy actually helped me with that one. Yay! Daddy helped. Oh, Mommy wrote a book. Yay! Yay. Mommy wrote a book. Yay! Oh. This book is perfect by Ron Kiris. This book is perfect. Oh, hello there. I'm Finn the Frog, and this is my friend. The cleanest book you will ever see. Some even say that it's perfect, but I don't really like to brag. I know. I know, most frogs are slimy and dirty, but not me. No way. You see, I'm the tidiest frog you'll ever meet. 
I think you're going to be quite impressed with what you are about to see. Now then, shall we begin? Go on, turn the page. <laughs> what is on your fingers? Are you eating cheesy puffs while reading my book? What are you thinking? You can't eat cheesy puffs while reading this book. Wipe your hands and put that snack away right now. Whew, that's better. A little elbow grease goes a long way when keeping things neat, you know? And after all, it could have been worse. It could have been. Grape juice? Are you kidding me? Sticky, drippy grape juice all over my perfect pages. Listen, kid, if there's anything you've got to know in life, it's this. Grape juice always stains. These pages are supposed to be white, not purple. This is not good, kid. Not good. Drat. This mop is worthless against such a mess. First the pink fingerprints, now the grape juice. I swear this day couldn't get any. What have you done? This is a nightmare. It has to be. Any minute now, I'm going to wake up and find that there is not gum stuck to my pages. It will be fine. Really. Any minute now. Wake up, Finn. Wake up now. It's not working. I don't think I'm dreaming. Breathe, Finn. Breathe. There must be something I can use to get that sticky thing off my book. Mayday, mayday. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. My page is ripping. This is a disaster. I was so excited to show you my book, but now it's ruined. Forever. Oh, I just want this all to be over. Maybe you should just close the book and end my misery. Wait. Don't close the book. Do you see what I see? This mess is attracting flies. Don't you know those tiny troublemakers throw up every time they land? <clears throat> Yuck. Even the thought of fly barf on my book is making me queasy. Shoo, fly, shoo, go away. Oh no, that useless fly just landed on my book. Think, Finn, think. How does one get rid of flies? Hmm, I wonder if my vacuum has a turbo mode for sucking up flies. No, don't smash it, kid. Do you have any idea of the kind of mess that would leave behind? I mean, all of the guts and other ooze stuff that comes out from the fly? Not my book. There's got to be another way. Me? Why are you looking at me? What do you expect me to do? Oh, right. Aha, I'm a frog. <laughs> Slurp. Hmm, delish. I almost forgot how good these things taste, you know. I still have, I still believe in cleanliness is the best policy. But maybe this mess wasn't so terrible after all. Come to think of it, without your help, I never would have gotten these tasty snacks. And besides, if I can't live with the mess, I can always turn the page. <laughs> Slurp. Perfect. The end. So, daddy's cooking. 
indeed. It's like a TV show with no commentary, so we must make commentary. Yes, we must make the commentary for the cooking show. Oh, look, the hash browns are... Oh, I thought they were going in the oven. I thought they were going in the oven, too. He certainly opened the oven. What is it for, though? I guess it's to eat. Eat what in the oven? The hash browns. Oh. Is the oven on? I don't know. Okay, maybe they're going to put the hash browns in the oven, but there's too much stuff in the oven. Oh. I've ran into that problem before. Yes, yes, yes. The emptying of the oven conundrum. The problem of not having enough space in the kitchen. I think that's what that comes down to. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've always hated that, using the oven as storage space. Yeah. It's, it's not been my favorite. Uh-huh. And, and it seems that the hash browns have gone into the oven, and there's another pan. What is going into that pan? Mm. Yes. What is going into that pan? Can't see. Mm. Oh, he's washing his hands. That's a good sign. Yeah. You always want to make sure that your chef is cook is washing their hands. Cause you know, you don't want sweat. Yeah. Hair. Uh, poopy. What? Garbage. Uh, you don't want those things going into your food. You know. Yeah. And they wash the pan. Okay, they're taking the hash browns out. Taking the hash browns out again. <laughs> Okay, oh, so it went mind. in, then never out, mind. and out, They're and covering in. it in. Oh, oh, it went covered. It. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So they're going to be, like, kind of soft instead of crispy? Oh, I like them crispy. I like them crispy, I too. I like them crispy, where it feels like you can just pick up. Yes. Put the cover on so it can cook. And then I'll take the cover off so it can crisp. Oh. oh. Okay, so it looks like Chef used raw potatoes. For the hash, and that's why he needs to cook them, and then later crisp, crisp them mm. to the perfect mm. crisp. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The so perfect crispy potato wafer thing. So while Chef is cleaning, explain to me how do you like your hash browns? Like, what do you like on them? Do you like it plain? Do you like it with butter? Do you like it with with salt, pepper, ketchup, jam? Egg. What do you like on your hash browns? I don't know. Sometimes I like get a little jam in the fits and on them. But it does take down the crunchiness a little bit. Mm, and sometimes mm. I'll just eat them crunchy. I'll just put a little something up. Just put a little like salt or pepper crunch down on it. Mm. And when I say pepper, I mean a lot of pepper because I use too much pepper. What kind of pepper do you use? Because there are different kinds of peppers. There's pepper from peppers. And then there's pepper from peppercorn. Not to be confused because the two are not the same. Which pepper do you like? The black pepper that's on the table. Mmm. The classic black pepper, yes. Mm-hmm. I you use can way never too go much wrong with that. black pepper, you know. Yeah. You know. I use way too much of that mm. on my food. I happen to be a fan of the pepper peppers, like the habanero, mm. your chili. Your, your your chipotle, your your jalapeno. I happen to be a fan of those peppers. As a matter of fact, I haven't had any shishito peppers for the year, which is kind of weird. I'm feeling like I'm missing something in my diet. But, you know, I'll, I'll get over it. I'll get over it. But, but I like my hash browns crispy. Salt. Strawberry jam. Although, I, I kind of miss the grape jam. I kind of miss the grape jam. I also like, sometimes it has those little holes, and it just makes it easier to, like, to break it. Yeah. Because mm, mm-hmm. when it has the little holes, like, it's easier to break because there's already, like, little things. You know what I don't appreciate when it what? comes to breaking hash browns? What? Silence. They cannot be silent. They must Mm-mm. go crunch. Yes, yes. They must make the crunch. Yes, they must make... I need my hash browns to speak to me yes. while I'm eating it. If, if I break it and it does not make the crunch, it's getting gypped in jam. Yeah, it, it needs to go. And, uh, it needs to go. Don't, don't eat me. Don't eat me. Please don't. That's how yes. the hash browns need to sound. And that's also like the little thing I do in my head when I'm eating food. That somehow turns into the shape of like somewhat human ish. Mm. Mm. For some reason, I was like, 
you turn your food into human shape. No, I don't turn it into human shape. Like, if it just ends up human shape, I'm like, what? You still oh, eat well. it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's not made out of humans, so... Remind me not to sit next too close to you when you're hungry. What? I might end it's up on your It's not made plate. of humans, so... It's not made out of human. It's made out of, like, strawberry or jam mm. or potato. Mm -hmm. It's not made out of human. So what is potato. Chef doing now, Miss Anna I don't know. Maybe they're looking at recipes. Mm, mm. They seem to be on a green device. Mm, it looks like it's their, is it their phone or their tablet? Hmm. Mm. It's too small to be a tablet. It must be a phone. It's a, if it's a phone, then Chef is looking something up. If it's their tablet, then they're planning something out. I've noticed that about Chef. Yeah. When they use the different devices. And if they're not using a device but a book, Ooh. oh, it's about to go down. Mm -hmm. It means Chef is throwing down yeah, yeah. something you know what i mean uh-huh and also yesterday dinner was great oh tell me about it yes 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 please let the people know what we had for dinner we had yesterday. some curry and roti and oh. it was just like mm -hmm. mm. it was good mm. it was alive and popping mm -hmm. it was yes the roti i had mine with some cilantro plantain the curry Rolled up in the roti. Ooh. And then some pepper sauce to top it all off. Ooh. Ooh. It was life. And I like took the roti and like put the curry in and ate it like a taco. It was good. Mm, you ate it like a taco. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. Where you were scooping up the curry with the roti, like using it as a spoon fork? Yeah, sometimes. Mm. Yes. That is the classic way to eat roti. Mm -hmm. To use the skin. As you're eating utensil. Mm -hmm. You got that from your ancestors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Me? Eight, nine, I had my nine, roti yesterday. Nine, More like the Mexican burrito. See, we all from the same region of the Americas, Centrals. So, you know, I just took a little bit of our flavor spice, a little bit of flavor flair, a little bit of their style. And I just put it together. So you had Arawak and Mayan. Just, you know, fusion. That's the sound of the fusion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, they're cleaning yeah. something. What are they cleaning now? I don't know. Looks like they're wiping down the counter. And the weird container? Uh, holder? It's, it's, the, it's the utensil holder that oh. Chef uses when they're cooking. So stuff doesn't spew all over the counter or fall on the floor. Ooh. So it's a nifty device. It's a really nifty device. Ooh, they're Ooh. spraying the pan. Yes. What they put in the pan? They're spraying the pan with coconut oil spray. What they put in the pan, though? No, I'm still on the fence about the coconut oil spray because it's spraying, so there's propellant. I'm, I'm on the fence about it, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's not the worst thing yeah. in the world. It so also gets the job done. It gets the job done. You know, it's, it doesn't it's organic. really taste anything. It's coconut oil. It's good for you. Yeah, you know? it doesn't have any taste when you, like, put food in it, yeah. which is also a plus. Because, yeah. like, if I'm putting olive oil in food, I want my food to taste like olives when it's not supposed to taste like olives. Well, it doesn't really taste like olives. I know. Olives and olive oil taste very different from one another. Wait, how do you know what olive oil tastes like? You put it in your mouth. What? You never put olive oil in your mouth? No. Dude, like a tablespoon a day is like medicine. What? Yeah. You gotta lubricate your internals and get all the mineral vitamin that it offers. I don't know the science right what? now. I know what? it's somewhere in the back of my head. Wait, I've wait, studied wait, 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 wait. it. But Having Wait. a tablespoon of olive oil is good for you. Wait, can I just put something yellow in a blue pot? Oh, I can I just put something yellow in the blue pot? Yellow in the blue pot. Yellow. I don't know if it's egg yolk. It looks like egg, egg yolk. yolk, but it didn't act like egg yolk, so I'm not sure. What pot? Egg yolk in a blue pot or a pan? A blue pot over there with a, with a purple spatula uh, on it. It has a purple spatula. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That is uh, pancake oh mix. God, huh? 
It looks like Chef is making pancakes. His famous Ooh. fluffy pancakes right oh, now. Yes, the fluffy mm. ones. The fluffy yeah, ones. Yeah. Make it super fancy pancakes. Yeah, yeah. If if I had to guess. Given that today is Sunday, oh, it's also Diwali. Happy Diwali. Yes. Uh, um, uh, I would say that Chef is actually making brunch. Brunch? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you think? Personally, sometimes I like brunch. Sometimes they give me, once they gave me way too much stuff to even eat for brunch. Mm -hmm. That happens with brunch. Yeah. It's like a like. Why are you giving me a brec like a brunch buffet? I just want one thing. See, brunch is like a Thanksgiving happy hour combo combo. Wombo it's like a, combo. It's, it's, it's a, a wombo a, combo. It's a it's a good rising Thanksgiving happy hour. So you got your drinks, you got your breakfast, you got your lunch, and you have it all at one time. With a really, really lots of loud, really, really music. Wait, I said that wrong. With lots of really, really loud music. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was like, why are you giving me all this stuff? If I wanted a buffet, I'd say I want the buffet, please. Well, I think that goes with saying brunch. Oh. Yeah. So if I just say, I'll have the brunch, and then they're just going to give me the buffet. Mm -hmm. Even if I was just about to say give pancakes and hash feast, browns. The platter, the the royal treatment. Because, you know, we we eat and live like kings and queens, to be honest with you. Yes. We do, you know. So, it's like, what do you want? And then some, Dave. Choices galore, you know. But to be honest, it's just way too much for me. I hear you. Like, hear how you. am I supposed to eat hash browns, pancakes, waffles, like, eggs, bacon? Like, how am I supposed to eat all of this? And don't forget the granola. Yeah. With the yogurt. And the muffins. With the cakes. And the cookies. And the pudding. Okay, maybe we should name, rename brunch to brunch dessert. It should be every meal, one time. Every meal at once, but dinner. Yeah, that part. Every meal, but dinner. But you'll have the dinner drinks without the dinner during brunch. Yeah. Yeah. So Except for the drinks. So every meal, but dinner, but the drinks. Unless you guys want margaritas. <laughs> then you have your happy hour drinks. Which could also be your dinner drinks with your brunch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 the first pancakes have come out of the pot. They are not looking thin, folks. They, they are look fluffy. fluffy. They, they are look hot. about, they look about, um, say, a pinky finger thick. Oh, yes, definitely. They are actually looking a picky. I would go so much as to say maybe even a thumb thick. Oh, that's real thick pancakes. It's looking about a thumb thick. I don't like them too thick. I don't yeah. like the Dutch pancake. I know you like the Dutch pancake. That's the big thick cake ones. in a pan looking one. I'm not a fan of those. Why? Cause some some flapjacks. I'm a fan of those. Mm -hmm. I like them because like they're big and you can like put all the stuff on them and they still won't make it foam. And also they look thick. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And also, maybe I should start using, like, Dutch pancakes and just, like, make it seem like there are other pancakes in between so they don't have to put, like, cardboard in between them. That's what they did? Yes, that's what they do for pancake ads. They put oh, cardboard in between so they can to make them, them look thicker. Oh. Instead of just making some thick pancakes or using mm. them Dutch ones, because those ones, those ones are thick. You know, I really can't complain about the food in commercials because at least we know they're not wasting food. Because, yeah. like, with the cheese, it's not cheese, it's glue. Yeah, it's glue. And, like, it's 1% mozzarella and 99% glue. Glue, yeah. So don't eat food that you see on commercials. Don't Yeah, don't, don't, do that. don't. If you ever get on a commercial site, don't eat the food. Don't do that. It, it, it probably has something that's inedible, like glue. Motor oil, mm, mm, mm. like 
it, it, it has something you're not supposed to eat, probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 look. Chef is stirring two pots at a time. He was just Yay! stirring two pots at a time. I have not That's seen so any scary. color, so I don't know what's in the pot. But he's stirring two pots at a time and oh, flipping pancakes. pancakes. Oh, my oh. gosh. It's like Chef has four arms. There's yeah. so much happening right now. Oh We've got to give a play-by-play. What's happening? What they is happening? Stir, they just flip some pancakes. They stir in a pot. Daddy. Like, they're doing everything at once. They got like three arms doing Daddy, all three if things. You flip that pancake, if you flip that pancake, I am going to say, what did you just do? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Did you forget that this isn't the old couch? Yeah, it's not the old couch, dude. You Please. can't do that. Keep your feet off my pillow. Okay, okay back to back to chef. Hurt. We're missing stuff. He just per pour, he just stirred the back pot, mm -hmm. and that and was a lot faster than the front pot. It looks like the whatever's in the front pot is pretty thick, cause you can see his muscles. Flexing a little bit. Yeah, it's flexing with the front pot. But the back pot, it was it's really just... just like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Chef, what you doing there, Chef? Scrambling some eggs. Scrambling eggs in a pot. Why, I never. What? That's, that's, that is a definitely new technique. a new technique. Uh, yeah, wow. So oh, Next two more pancakes. Of pancakes. Mm. Two more pancakes have come out, and yes, they are consistent they with are that thumb thick. thickness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All and right, he's laying down another ads. layer of coconut oil oh, for yeah. those pancakes. Oh, Make sure they don't also, stick. in pancake ads, they add like motor oil instead of maple syrup. Mmm. Like, and these are like raw pancakes. Mm. They're ruining some real great pancakes. Well. And it, it makes me a little bit sad because those are real pancakes. But but they're not wasting food. Yeah. So that much I can live with. I can live. Yeah. And folks, folks, please, please do not use syrups, pancake syrups. It's not real food. You want to stick to maple syrup? Pancake syrup? What is that? It sounds it's, like it's made from... And the essence of pancakes and all good it's pancakes marketing. in the world. It's marketing. It is it is corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, maltodextrose, uh, monosodium glutamate, caramel coloring, probably some red dye number 40 in there, which is a neurotoxin. Uh, it's, it's just, it's not real food. It's, it's not anything that you really want to give your children. And um, it's not anything that you want um, to put into a healthy body. Um, all of those things that you just listed, besides caramel, caramel is the only word that you said that sounds like it shouldn't be in the lab. Well, they use caramel flavoring, not actual caramel that's made from cane oh. sugar reduction. I guess everything. Into caramel I candy. guess everything in there should be in a lab. Yeah, it's all made in a lab, yes. 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 Is, 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 is it even safe? Most of it is corn that you can't eat without being processed Why? chemically. Why? Why um, are you putting corn in something that goes into pancakes? Well, surprisingly, there's a lot of food products, I say that with big air quotes, that are derived from the Liberty corn strain. Oh, not an oh, corn. Oh, oh, pancakes oh, are oh, being flipped. Oh, oh. Pancakes are being flipped. Yes, you hear that that sizzle when they flip, yes, yes, yes. You know what I love about these pancakes? They are also perfectly colored. Yes, they're not too bad at color. They're not too yeah. They're not, they're not too, too burnt. They're not too brown. They're not too dark. They're not inconsistent. You don't have some that are white and then some that are black. Like when I make pancakes and they're flat mm -hmm. and crispy, and some are black and. Some are clear. And also, like, we don't like crispy pancakes. No. Like, we don't really like, we don't really like them, do we? No, th that's why I don't understand why Dino Robot keeps asking me for pancakes when my pancakes are terrible. Terrible. Like, they belong in the crapper. Just straight flush down the toilet. They're just, they're not anything that you should be feeding a healthy child that you love. I'm just saying... I don't okay. feel comfortable feeding my children that I love my pancakes. Okay. It's One, just... don't be so hard on yourself. It's okay. 
You know what? You are, you are just so you're sweet. Thank you for that grace. You, you, are, you are a great example mm-hmm. of showing yourself grace. And also, Thank how you come you don't like crunchy pancakes, but we like crunchy waffles? It's literally the same batter. Right? Yeah, but we like the waffles more crunchy. Yeah, I do. I do love my waffle. I love when the waffles come out with that... You know what I mean? Like, you can, like, squeeze the little sides and, like, the edges might crumble mm-hmm. a little bit and mm-hmm. like, just pop it in your mouth and it's like, ah! mm-hmm. And you know that it's going to be the crispy type when it has the little air bubbles in it. Oh, oh my gosh. I love the air bubble waffles. Oh, okay? yeah. And also, what I like about waffles, like, I put maple syrup on, like, it gets on some of the holes. Well, now I gotta put it in, in all of the holes, and I just pick it up and just like rotate it until <gasps> maple syrup has gotten to all the waffle holes. Oh yes, the the nooks and crannies. Yes, yes. yes. All of us, all of it must be covered with maple syrup before I consume. Yes, yes. I used to love my waffles and cheese to have the cheese dip down into those nooks and crannies. Oh, <gasps> it made my day. It made my day. Oh. That was back when I was a child. And uh, we had to eat Eggo waffles, which were the frozen kind, because the adults wouldn't make it for us. Um, Not the best tasting. Trust me, what you guys eat today, what we eat today, way better tasting food. It tastes like food. Um, That's why I had to put cheese and and jelly on it, because it, it, it didn't taste like food. So, you know, that part. Yeah. No shame, though, for people who that's all they can get, for sure, you know. Oh, Daddy's putting the pancakes in the um... Oh, he put it in the lower convention oven. Okay. Oh, maybe they're trying to keep it warm. Uh, that's make sure they don't get room temperature. That is a good hypothesis. Fresh warm food tastes better than food that what? has been sitting out for five minutes. What is, what is that about? Why does hot warm food? Tastes better than room temperature food. What is that I about? I don't know. Maybe it's sort of like bodies being like, ooh, this is this is real good because 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 mm. it's gonna warm us up. Even mm. though I don't need warming up because we literally have the heat on in the house and I don't need to be warmed up. I'm at a comfortable temperature. But it's yeah, warming to like, the soul. Yeah, you know? it just warms your soul. It just warms your heart. Makes you feel cozy in your body. Oh. Chef has brought the pot over to the island. Oh, the hash brown pot. Ooh. Oh, that's the hash brown pot. Okay, it looks like Chef is putting butter inside the hash brown pot. Is it going on top, Chef, or on the bottom? The butter. It's going to melt to the sides. Mm, now we're gonna have some buttery sides. Some buttery, some side butter. Hash browns. I I used to love just like butter, like butter, bread, heat that up, and then put some strawberry, heat the bread up, put some butter on it, put some strawberry jam on it, good. But also, I did never, I would net literally, like, I would never put like strawberry jam toast in the oven. Oh, why not? I don't know. It just feels wrong. Really? It just feels wrong. Mm. Like, it's supposed to be cold. It you want feel, your jam cold? Yes, it oh. feels wrong to heat it up. Okay, so hot toast. Good. Cold jam. Good. Mm, interesting. I wonder what the Brits would have to say about that during tea time. Mm. If, their, if their jam should be room temperature or cold. I like my jam cold and fresh. That's why I always, like, put the jam last so mm. it's still cold mm. by the time I put it in my mouth. Mm. And mm. also, I just like the butter alone. Like, mm. I thought, wow, why have I not eaten this before? Mm. Mm. And now I put garlic salt on it to mm. make garlic yes. bread and strawberry jam sandwiches. Yes, you, you do and they love are your delectable. garlic bread with strawberry jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they are delectable, and you cannot tell me otherwise yeah. until like I'm 30 and look back and wonder, what? Why did I do this? Listen, you're not gonna get no argument from me here. You're not gonna get no judgment from me. You like what you like. If you enjoy it and it's real food, have at it. Yes, have it at is it. real good. Mm. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the tangy spice-ish, spicy-ish mm. of garlic and the sweet coldiness of the 
much of the Well, garlic the is good jam. for you, you know. It's actually yeah. medicine, so yeah. like you keep having at it. The coolness of the jam and then put together it just becomes something I don't know how to describe it. it just becomes good. Hey, Dino Robot, did you want your hot chocolate or are you good? Okay. So, Chef, we see you've taken the pot off the stove. What's going on over there? We get a play-by-play, -play, Chef. What? What's going on over there? I just took the grits off the stove. There's pancakes in the oven. I'm just waiting for the hash to brown a little bit. Oh, Chef is making grits. Oh, oh that's the white oh, chef in the okay. pan. So let's take a full inventory. What is going to be included in today's brunch? So there's going to be eggs. Eggs. Grits. Grits. There's going to be pancakes that pancakes. are up Mm-hmm. And we're going to be some crunchy hash browns. Hash browns with, with, with side butter. Yes. Side butter. They're going to be extra crunchy. Extra crunchy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then me and Dino Robot are actually having some hot chocolate now. I'm actually doing a, a, a mocha chai. Mm. Uh, Dino Robot is doing a hot chocolate sans marshmallows. He has de-ordered the marshmallows. <laughs> He said that it actually ruins the hot chocolate experience, so we've taken that out. Oh, why? Um, Ali, may you tell me why it ruins the hot chocolate? Because it doesn't let me drink the hot chocolate. Mm, mm. It gets in the way. It gets okay. in the way. Yeah, yeah. It gets in the yeah. way. Also, also, and then uh, Darth Daddy uh, Darth had found coffee. In the back of the pantry and made himself some coffee with honey. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't even know we still had coffee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. I thought it was all just tea. Nope, no coffee. Things. There was there was coffee stashed away somewhere, and, and Darth Daddyus had a really bad experience yesterday where we went out for coffee and we spent ten dollars on hot brown water. Ah, so not I, hot I'm, brown water. Hot brown water. Like, ten dollars. No. no. Yes. Oh, yes, Darth Daddy. Yes, yes we are I want to see the country. Daddy. Hash brown. I said daddy. daddy. We are indeedy. Do you have a, you are, you are a pancake? Um, sure. I will, I will have a pancake. And now we can see if they're like a finger thick. Anybody up close. Who wants spritz besides me and mommy? Uh, oh my gosh. I think, I think Darth Daddy is going to stuff us for cool. brunch today. I think mm -hmm. after this meal. I don't, I don't I'm, I'm gonna going to even pass eat. out on the couch yeah, with I a don't, big belly. I don't even know if I'm going to even like eat anything besides like dinner. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to have more roti for dinner. Yes. Ooh, I think I need to go to the gym. I just feel like Darth Daddyus has just been feeding us all weekend. Yes. As we enjoy this brand new couch of ours. Which, you know. <laughs> Excuse my French, but it's the... Sugar honey iced tea, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's got and it's got the nice little corner for me the and to for just the kids. chill and enjoy our day. Yes, yes. Just just chill, watch some TV, snuggle up in a blanket. It is perfect. It is very um, perfect for that. You want some hash? Yes. So Darth Daddyus is actually, or excuse me, Chef is actually plating the food right now one item at a time in these amazing deep dish uh almost like pottery looking uh plate bowls they're extra large deep dish uh and that and i like to and call chef them is flip bowls flip bowls flip bowls is a good word or plates oh plates, plates. yes 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 well, actually, uh, we should call them blates because the food is blatantly good. Oh, yes, it is blatantly good. So, there you go. Blatantly good food goes in the... Blate. In the blates. Okay. So, I think I'm going to call it because it looks like uh, that food is steaming on the blates. And uh, uh -huh. I don't it's want calling it my to name. get cold. Yeah, I don't want it to get cold. I don't want to stop seeing that steam until there's no more food on my plate. Yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to... We're going to attack that. And also, I need to see knives. the... Oh, wait, Daddy's still putting the hash browns. Okay. And I want to see the crunchiness of those hash browns. Yes, yes. You've got to have that. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that's a lot of food there. That is a lot of food. Ooh. All right, well, we will see you later. Enjoy your...
brunch, dinner, Thanksgiving. Oh, pretty happy much every hour, thing. every meal of the day at Rising. Enjoy. Special. How to Feed Your Parents. How to Feed Your Parents. By Ryan Miller. Uh, uh, Matilda Macaroni wanted to try quiche. Her parents did, did not. not. And we have okay, okay, the restaurant okay, 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 okay. with the sign saying, Dish of the Day, quiche. And she's like, can we go there? And they're like, no, we're going to heat up some Rock macaroni. Macaroni. Oh, I was right. There is macaroni. Wait, wait, wait. Mommy, do you want macaroni for dinner or fries and a burger and ketchup? Or fries and chicken nuggets and, uh, um, ketchup? And what is this? Grilled cheese. cheese. It kind of. The first time I read this or book, I thought that was cheese, like some kind of weird or pie. Pizza or cereal with milk for lunch. Well, I don't want any of this. Me too. But this is the list of things that Mr. and Mrs. Macaroni would eat. And I it know, is I very know, short. I know what I want. I want this, 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 and that's it. So on their menu, they have like this. chicken. Only in nugget form with barbecue chicken. sauce and fries. Th Elbow and macaroni. Mixed with orange colored powder from a packet in a white bowl. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Burgers. Ew. <laughs> with the french fries, ketchup, and a toy. Also, all of it's from a bag, oh. probably from the same restaurant as the chicken nuggets. Oh, jeez. Grilled cheese. <laughs> Cut into triangles on only white bread. <sighs> My stomach is starting to hurt. Pizza. Yeah. Only topped with pepperoni and delivered straight to their door. They don't even make it? Yeah. Cereal. Only if it was sugary and turned the milk Mommy, a different color. Cereal? Oh, God. I am surprised Matilda Macaroni is okay. Mommy, this is not a healthy diet for good. anyone. They refuse Mommy, to even try Mommy. anything else. Mommy, cereal yes. used to be good. It did? Yeah. You're talking about like, those many you talking about the oat Cheerios? Yeah, the yeah. many ones. Yeah. Dumb, yeah. Dumb Cheerios. You didn't even eat it as cereal because you didn't put milk in it. You just had it as a snack. Like twice. But that's not your regular snack, so moving on <laughs> from Mr. and Mrs. Macaroni's Why menu. Why are they sharing off their food? Well, let's find out. So Matilda first discovered Grandma. she liked other foods Wait, when Grandma Mommy. Macaroni I know, I know. brought her a pot of jambalaya. I know, I know. Um, This one was like, hey, Grandma, tell them it's good. Hey, Dad, Mom, it's good. Just eat it. And what did they say? Yuck! Yuck! Matilda's no, dad said yucky. when he saw the pot. No way. Matilda's mom said when she smelled the steam. No way. The girl was like, you need to eat something other than, like, macaroni and, and, and grilled cheese. You need to eat something other than that. They pushed their place to the center of the table and sulked. But Matilda was curious. <laughs> she's scooping it up. Shoop. The grandma looks at it like, yeah, she's eating something other than And the other mom and dad were like, and the mom and dad what are, are you doing? Uh -huh. You're almost she's like about a to parasite. Eat and she's like, what are you doing? And, and this like, one is like, why? 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 And the grandma's like, and this why one? are you so concerned? And this one, and ate then she it. ate it, and the, it tastes very good. And the grandma's like, mm. and the mom and dad, the mom, the mom is shared. The dad is covering his mouth while he's mad and shared. There, the parents are horrified. They, yeah. They why is he so scared? Why did they share the food? Disturbed. Why did they share the food? They didn't. They just... They, oh, they scared. Yeah, they're scared of the food. Because it's real. The it's, jambalaya was interesting. It was surprising. It was 
Delicious. Delicious. Chilaya, fulaya, fulaya. Jambalaya. Jambalaya, fumbalaya, nang bum 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 bum. After that, Matilda tried new foods whenever she could. She got gumbo and goulash at Grandma's, sampled some sushi at a sleepover, and polished off a plate of pork, pork, paprikish, in a clay in a in a play date. Yeah, on a play date. But she soon realized that if she ever wanted to eat more than nuggets and noodles at home, she would have to commandeer the kitchen and cook it for herself. And look, she's like, hey, do you want to learn how to cook? And she's like, uh, uh, I'm busy. And the dad's ordering pizza. And there's a poster of, like, someone holding a carrot. And a fork, someone throwing some stuff into a pan, recipes, sticky notes, and even the beard the chef, and uh, He's ready to cook. waiter, bun bun. Yeah. This and, is sad. Matilda this, is getting ready to cook, and her and dad is on the phone with a menu. And mm -hmm. this one wants to read the book, and this one's like, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. If you do it, we will die. <laughs> She's making a burger. No, there's eggs. There's eggs. There's no meat on the counter. There's olive oil. It looks like mustard. Spatula. Eggs. A bunch of cookbooks. And a big Weird old bowl. silver things that are, I don't know. They're making a Maybe burger. they're making pancakes. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe that is syrup and this is flour. Let's yeah. find out. She started by learning how to crack eggs. First, she didn't tap them hard enough to break the shell. Then she tapped them a little bit too hard. Finally, she got it just right. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys did that. Mm -hmm. You guys learned how to crack that eggs that way. three eggs. Don't know what happened to the first one that she didn't quite crack hard enough. Do you remember that, Dino Robot, when yeah. it was hard for you to crack eggs and then you mastered it with no shells in the bowl? I was a kid. I did that when I was two. Yeah, you did. She worked with her grandmother to learn oven safety and knife safety and all of the other safeties wait, she wait. could think of. She wait, started wait, reading wait, cookbooks wait, wait, wait. as bedtime stories. Is this the grandmother? No. no. That's just somebody else. That's the babysitter. Oh, the babysitter. Yeah. So she started reading cookbooks as bedtime stories. Would you look at that? She's dedicated, isn't she? Right? She's on this unschooling journey to learn how to cook and be her own chef. Mm -hmm. I applaud you, going, Matilda. They're not going unschooling. They're she is unschooling. No one is teaching her. She's not in school doing this. She's out at the market. She's, She's reading her some market. bedtime stories about how to cook. Get it? Because That's unschooling. three plus seven is ten. Yes, it is. She gave her allowance to her I babysitter to buy ingredients from the local farmer's market. Look at all the look she at got all the farm pineapple, produce. some kind of oil, uh, a bag of something, yeah, oranges, apples, so and she's reading a pineapple cookbook. Mm -hmm. She's even got fresh cilantro. Mm. 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 All right. So she she's got all her ingredients. Took some out the oven. Don't quite know what it is. She made some soup, and she's making. Credits, mommy. Hmm. Two twos and one make five. Oh yeah. Is that twos? You're so smart. Who I taught know. you that? How you know that? Because I used my mind. Mm, you have a powerful mind, there, buddy. And also, I already know that because the one and the four. Mm hmm. Don't you know that? Mm -hmm. It's five. Yep. So Matilda practiced with a willing grown-up whenever she could. Soon she had perfected paella, mastered miso soup, and conquered croquettes. So it looks she's practicing with Grandma. She's practicing with her babysitter, who's taking pictures for her. And the grandma's sampling seems for really her. nice. Mm -hmm. And also that cap. It kind of looks like it has fish on it. 
Art's fur. <laughs> is that just me, or does it look like there's like fish patterns on her I fur? Think it's you. It looks like stripes to me. She wanted to share every dish with her parents. What? She knew that, they would enjoy that's them like, if they would are you only try them. Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? So she came up with a plan. What? Dun, 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 dun. The plot thickens. Let's find out what this plan is. Okay. I'll handle dinner tonight. She said one morning at breakfast. No quiche? And this one and this one and this one was like, mm -hmm. what? No, that's an exclamation what? point. No what? quiche? What? You're saying with what? The mark. You what? With the what? No, no quiche. No quiche. I no don't quiche. I no quiche. No quiche. Nothing funny? I you said it with a question mark. You said with an exclamation like point. No Nothing chico. funny? You still do Let me show you. Let me show you. You're saying, no quiche? No. No quiche. Nothing funny. No Nothing quiche. funny. Her no dad added. Quiche. Burgers, hey. Matilda said. Just, Just burgers. Her I, parents were both running late, so they slurped the I, bright purple milk told, from the bottom of I their bowls. I told you they was making burgers and with agreed. those eggs. And also, I have a question. Why are there two cereal boxes at the same table? Because mommy's got pink and daddy's got purple. Ah. Oh. So they're just eating their favorite color. Okay. Which is very terrible. So terrible. You don't just eat food because of the artificial coloring. Oh, look, wait, wait, can we ask, wait, wait, can we ask some questions? Why is this one in the baby chair? It's not a baby chair, it's a regular chair. Look, Ew. it's just like the other chairs. Why is the, why She's is not this? strapped in. Why is this a baby chair? Oh. My. That night, Matilda's parents stared skeptically at the food in front of them. They Bye. didn't know Bye. what the... Since the babysitter. This doesn't look like what I like, her dad whined. It's a hamburger, Matilda said innocently. That's a I'm going to warm up some leftovers. That's her a cheeseburger. How disrespectful. You can call it a Her daughter cooked for her and she wants to go. Hamburger. Warm up Hamburger. leftovers. Hamburger. Ooh, she's probably Hamburger. gonna put it in the microwave too. Hamburger. Terrible. Hamburger. The fridge Ham is empty. Her dad yelped. No pizza. No nuggets. This Just is what's for dinner. The forest if you're hungry, <laughs> if you're hungry, <laughs> you can eat. If you're not, don't. But I made this, and this is what we're having. You made it? That's what Miss Macaroni said. She lifted the bun and peered at the patty. There are mushrooms on it and green things. And also nice painting. And very old bone, considering there are smartphones in this world. Why is Ollie crying? Because he's doing the mom. That's what the mom is doing. She's crying. Yes. 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 I hate burgers. I hate burgers. That's not lettuce. That's like arugula. Well, arugula. According to her mom, it's just green things. That's a. That's arugula. Matilda said. You're going to love it. Mrs. Macaroni raised one elbow, but then her stomach growled loudly. Our daughter made this, she said to her husband. Yeah! She took the tiniest, bite. Just a nibble. It's interesting. It's so chewing. It's surprising. It's delicious! It's delicious. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's 
It's the nurse's butt. You need my butt. It's okay. Burgers. It's bean burgers. It's vegan. It's okay. It's vegan. It's mushroom burgers. I don't think he cares. I just Mr. Don't Macarini care. smiled politely at Matilda and took a teeny tiny bite. Daily made burgers. And not I can up the book. They only made burgers. <laughs> I can make it again. I can make it again. Matilda said as her parents chowed down. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe we that I was thinking that maybe I could try to bake quiche first. I don't think you should do any more, more cooking, cooking, her dad replied. We should do it together. Uh-oh. We can take We're turns picking recipes. recipes. We might not like everything, but we promise to try anything. Her dad finished. Look at how excited they are now. They're like little kids. Enter epic cooking montage, 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 montage. It's not actually a montage, but it's a really good scene in the book. Who's your montage? -er? The cooking montage of them cooking together. Do me, Daddy, the cooker. What? The whole family, the cooker. The whole? I like their outfits throughout the book. They're really nice. Mm. The next night, Matilda and her parents sprinkled some flour on the counter. They rolled out dough before <laughs> filling it with eggs, spinach, bacon, Swiss cheese, and more. The quiche was... <laughs> it was just about everything they made. Fantastic fajitas. Fantastic fajitas. Her dad said after he bit into a warm handmade tortilla stuffed with steak, colorful peppers, and onions. Excellent eggplant parmesan. Her mom said while going back for a second slice of purple vegetable with oregano spice sauce and mozzarella cheese. Phenomenal fat. They both said as they leaned over their bowls and slurped up rice noodles floating in ginger scented beef broth. You know, Matilda, Mom said, talking around a mouthful of garlic naan and chicken tikka masala, I think I might like to try some jambalaya. They called up Grandma and asked her to bring over her signature dish. We just had garlic naan, didn't we? Yeah. And it was delicious. Mommy, what's mm -hmm. my... What happened? Why do we do my yeah. Grandma exclaimed when she saw that Mr. and Mrs. Macaroni started eating with no complaints. Matilda, you're doing a great job of trying to get... of getting them to eat and tr trying their foods. Wow. Thank, Thank you, you, Matilda said. If only I could get them to clean up their room. Oh, that's a hot mess. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we can't oh, even deal with that no. in this book. <laughs> oh, no. That's a whole other story. The end. <sighs> they got kicked out the house or the house. How to Feed Your Parents by Ryan Miller. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, listeners. Now's your chance to not only be one of our listeners, but to become one of our readers as well. That's right, our debut book, Unschooled Discoveries Venturing to the Unknown, is now available on Amazon. You can ask an adult to help you order a copy or even download the ebook. That's Unschooled Discoveries Venturing into the Unknown by Danny Oliver and Ivy Brathwaite, illustrated by me. Danny Oliver. Check it out.
When you finish reading the book, please be sure to leave a review or even send us a voice message to our podcast with your review so we can put it right here on our podcast. See you next time. This has been I'm sure it's in seven lives. Halloween edition. Thank you for joining us for our seven nights of fright. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. At night time will be Halloween. The next day will be Christmas. That's not that that's not a what? The I next know. day? The very next day? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the holiday that comes after Halloween is Dwali. It's it's Day of the Dead, Halloween. There's what happened like. Do they happen together? No, it's Halloween, Day of the Dead, which lasts a week, and then Diwali, which lasts a week. And tell us when Christmas is coming. Um, Halloween. Why are you obsessed with Christmas all of a sudden? I'm not obsessed with Christmas. You've been talking about it all day. I remember talking about that. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hi.